I feel like it'd be kind of meta to watch a video about VTubers. It has many definitions, but if I were to pick one right now, I would say behaving or presenting in a way that feels true, honest, or familiar without pretension or affection. Damn, you guys watch VTubers. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I miss the earlier Hollow Live days. I really, really miss like 2020 Hollow Live. That was like for me peak VTubers. I don't know. Like that's when I still watched VTubers. And like, I don't know. I, I think the climate has definitely changed a lot since then. And I'm part of the problem. I could admit that. But I don't know. I, I feel like the 2020 like JP line of YouTubers were like insanely funny. This is not a real person. Get out of my head! 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 If you haven't seen one, this is called a. Oh, she on. I I I know the early Hollow Life girls. I don't know any of the new ones. under the guise of an anime person. But up until like I think many of them adopt mannerisms to better fit the backstory they made for their character. For example, this one likes referencing carrots because she's a rabbit, or this one who pretends to be bad at basic math because it's cute. There's all sorts of characters and backstories. Okay, let me just say, let me just say, we're not pretending to be bad at basic math. Okay, listen here, listen here. Sometimes you just fucking forget what seven times twelve is. All right. It just it just happens sometimes. Like, I'm sorry. I've been out of school for like 10 years. I'm not going to remember how to do basic math when I don't need to. I have a calculator for literally everything. Most well-known ones are either Japanese or English-speaking women. I have to give this definition because I've shown exactly three shit. people this in real life and have gotten, quote, what the fuck is that? Is this real? And do people actually watch this in response? All of them laughed. Yet almost every single one of the top 15 highest earning super chats on I YouTube see are owned by my girly. YouTubers. Look at Giga. He looks like he's about to get his fucking nails clipped at the vet. YouTubers everywhere <laughs> will not stop posting about them. They're clearly popular, so I think it's important to approach this with an open mind. VTubers are not inherently bad. In fact, so many of them are extremely... <sighs> this is why Marine's my favorite VTuber. I can admit, Hosho Marine is my favorite is my favorite VTuber, 150%. I also miss Coco, but 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 Marine, she she is forever in my heart, like the best VTuber ever. I think she's a phenomenal content creator. And I really like her stream style in, in general. I think in the beginning, I really tried to emulate a lot of like her energy. She's very goofy. I think she's very fun and she's very good at talking. Talented and natural born entertainers that can captivate an audience of millions without being obsessed with drama or being negative in the slightest. Many of them play instruments, sing, and play games at a high level. I think this video. When did this video come out? 21. Oh, I was only streaming for like a month at this point. Usually. But I don't understand the appeal on a personal level. I think that's valid. I think that's totally valid not to understand the appeal. Kiss me. Kiss me, mom. My friend who enjoys VTubers watched this clip and was in pure glee. It's just I've only cute. Heard this fat bastard rant about two things. This clip and some sandwich called the fucking heart clogger that he gets from the grocery store. So I knew that this was special. But when I watched that clip, I honestly wanted to rip her hair out and Hey, hey, be stuff nice to Corona. Corona is cute. Light the ends on fire like a wick. I hate VTubers. When I see them on screen, my heart starts pumping, my eyes go bloodshot, and I go dizzy. I think it's valid if he doesn't like VTubers, you guys. Not everyone's gonna like them. It's just like, it's just, it, it, it is what it is, you know? Why? That's why you hate cable. Yeah, you, I think it's valid to dislike things. I, I think people on the internet nowadays forget that they don't have to like everything. It's, disliking something is okay. It's how you react to the things you dislike that can get iffy. So like, let's say you don't like K-pop, you don't like VTubers, that's completely fine. It's when you go into those spaces to be like, what you like sucks. That's not okay. Because like these people are just trying to enjoy what they like. And you're like impeding on their space to have a good time. But yeah, like you can dislike anything you want, just don't be a dick about it. And I think that's just like, that's just how it is. Like when I dislike something for the most part, like I don't like flaunt it. If it comes up, like let's say like I'm reacting to the characters I've never seen before. I don't want to design like, okay, I don't like this and I move on. But I don't like harp on it and keep bringing up the fact that I hate this one thing. And I think that's like what people like forget. Like I despise when I'm trying to look at like, let's say like a ship tag. So I'm looking at a specific ship on Twitter and I just constantly see tweets about how they hate this ship. 
I'm like, why are you typing it in the tag? I'm trying to see content of it. I don't want to see that you hate the shit. Like, I couldn't give a shit about you. Like, just show me the things I want to see. Like, don't come into, like, the spaces of where people want to enjoy something to be a dick. Just blow up under so but you can just like whatever you want. I don't give a shit. It's Where your did life. Come from? I want to answer these questions because honestly, the video was just going to be a quick rant, but I Is gradually became Anders? fascinated in the plot twists and reasons why people enjoy VTubers. So those of you who love them and people who hate them, hold hands as I take you through Act One. History time. In 2000, Yamaha sound guy Ken Mochi Hideki starts a project called Daisy, which aims to generate human-sounding vocals Kizuna from text Kind of like Animal Crossing. Thanks to Yamaha, Daisy got promoted and fully fleshed Vocaloid? out as Vocaloid, which was released in 2000 Project Sakai? and marketed towards professional is this Is this about Project Sakai? The problem is, at the time, everyone thought... Okay, wait. Robot. You guys, listen, listen. I had an epiphany the other day. So you know, you know how like Project Sakai and like Vocaloid in general, you know how they can host freaking concerts and whatnot? Listen, you guys, this is the future of idol culture. No more. We do not need real life idols anymore. No more J-pop idols. No more K-pop idols. Make them completely virtual. You know why? You can't overwork them you can't starve them they can never get into controversy because they're literally just like programs they just release bangers and look cute and you can just love them and there's no parasocial because it's virtual like yeah the guy married hatsune miku but miku's fine <laughs> until they become sentient no but we'll worry about that later i just think it's like the perfect solution who just like you can never overwork a virtual thing. So just like have the virtual idols and like no more real people. That's professional software. This is baby shit. Nobody cared about it and it was dismissed as just a toy. But very slowly over the years... No, no, you still have like the music producers and stuff. More more and we'll have like the voice actors, don't get me wrong. Krypton Media has but like the actual idols themselves. Forward. Make mascots. Make the main mascot Miku, 16 Miku, and drop Miku, a new call me Miku. It worked. Hatsune Miku was hot. Music artists would Freaking love Miku, with man. I okay, genuinely, I didn't understand the craze about Miku until I started like until literally one month ago. I just like didn't understand the concept of Hatsune Miku. I'm like, why would anyone listen to this ever? It sounds. I'd rather just listen to like real people sing instead of like the like the beeps and the boops. And and after playing Project Sakai, I understand the Miku hype, and I I agree with it. I still prefer Vocaloid covers over Vocaloid music, but I I love Hatsune Miku. Moving in shit. I was never into Vocaloid Japan, like growing crazy. up. I didn't even know Eventually, what it was she starts until I was concerts. like in college. She I think. tops out iTunes best selling chart. An unbelievable amount of porn is made. But the big takeaway here is that Japan discovered something big. Hatsune Miku is marketable as fuck. Domino's, clothing, <laughs> Funko Pops, hot dogs, or some list a week after making a song. What mattered was that we can completely manufacture a cultural phenomenon, manipulate every part of her persona, and not have to pay them royalties for making merch, commercials, or collaborations. That's true. It's genius oh your influencer got caught doing blackface again this month <laughs> i just fucking programmed mine not to do that <laughs> see see okay listen listen i probably shouldn't be advocating this as an anime girl on the internet where this could easily take my job but i i i can't i can't help but see i can only see i could only see dubs here i don't know it, i'm i'm seeing only positives like i it's kind of hard to find the negatives here how does it work 100% of the time well that's a complicated it's estimated that in 2012 hatsune miku acquired a whopping 10 billion yen since her debut which translates to a whopping 6 dollars usd <laughs> seeing this an unknown production crew thought hey i could do that and debut oh kizuna i remember AI kizuna AI in 2016 she very closely resembles the VTubers today, but instead of running the risk of it being a fat middle-aged Hispanic man, Kizuna Ai is actually like eight middle-aged fat Hispanic men. She debuted on YouTube in November of 2016 and mostly creates largely scripted and pre-recorded content. I remember watching actually Kizuna Ai videos. Look at her. And not really like understanding the concept, but I thought she was cute. Which wasn't really a problem with people. Anime is scripted and people certainly love those characters, so it only makes sense that there's an appeal for something like Kizuna to exist. I believe that most people aren't under the impression that this is a real girl with a real personality and, you know, blah blah blah. In fact, 
she she's blew up so quickly. Yeah. Puppet. Even her voice actress is completely disposable. I think I read she's got like five substitutes that share yeah. a cold metal cage of a body. And Japan had done it again. Kizuna was a goddamn hit. She's the cover girl of Cup Noodle. She's been on the TV and news Would multiple I bring times. Up a head time and if I was honestly, scripted? more impressive Come than on. all that, she collaborated with PewDiePie. Enter the third major. Character. I remember watching that video Hollow with her and PewDiePie. Cover Corp, which works with alternate reality, sees the massive success of Hatsune Miku and Kizuno Ai and says, hey, I could do that. So they did. And they did Sometime that. in 2017, Cover Corp released a smartphone app called Hollow Live, which would allow you Wait, to it was view a, a YouTuber app? live while they stream. This changes things. Yep. It's only one fat guy now. Hololive held auditions for extremely talented women, and jokes aside, a lot of them are also very pretty in real life. Now, there may be some coaching involved, but for the most part, these girls have creative control over what they stream, if or not they curse, etc., and Hololive provides them with a rigged-up 3D model, an iPhone X, and a high-spec gaming PC. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Must They're be nice to have it provided. company for aspiring VTubers. I have to buy that you shit. could be a VTuber. Unless you're a guy, then the chances are slim. And of course, this caught on fire, and other companies thought, hey, I could do that. So they did. But instead of just working in Japan, <laughs> hey, Niji Sanji went to Mr. Worldwide and spread out in China, Japan, Indonesia, India, and Korea. So Hololive said, hey, I could do that. And then there's a ton of VTubers all over the world. The end. Holy shit, America likes VTubers. Gargar comes yeah, flying dude, out of the America loves VTubers. Search for a VTuber in 2020. Mori comes straight okay, out of nowhere to try I'm, this I'm not going to lie. I had the same thought process. I saw VTubers. I saw EN. I saw Hollow Life EN Gen 1. And I was like, I can do that. <laughs> same exact thought process. I'm like, I think I could, I could do that. I, I could do that. Easy clap. Said, See, if you liked anime at all and watched a VTuber video once thinking, what is this? Surprise, these little fuckers are going to ruin your recommended feed forever. They do, Enjoy. dude. You can't, no, listen, listen. You can't watch a single VTuber video on YouTube. Like, they will destroy your recommended feed. Dude, I literally started streaming literally based off of a meme. Because me and my friend were like, uh, lol, what if we became the VTubers? And then I just took the joke way too far. And then, like, here we are two years later. I'm streaming. And, like, you guys are here, too. It really... It really was just a meme that kept going. I just took it too seriously. Guys, listen, sometimes the bit, sometimes you just take the bit a little too far. And and at, at one point, it was just like, it, it was too late to go back. And I was like, well, if these aren't the actions or the consequences to my actions, I don't know what is. So we're part of the joke. No, 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 no. Just your life. But yeah, we're all part we're of the already joke. introduced to VTubers, especially since there are channels dedicated to taking funny clips from their streams and translating them just hours after the fact. You have an abundance of binge-worthy content, and now Hololive is making an English branch coupled with Japan's Yeah, dude, Asian I remember when EN got released, um, like EN Gen 1, because I just got into Hololive like a week or two before, before EN was announced. And so like I was like binge watching Pakura and Marin content. Like I was like that shit was like crack to me. It was just like the concept of YouTubers was like anime in real time where it's like you could just watch at any point and you like there's no seasons you have to keep up with. You can just watch and it's so fine. And then um yeah, and then EN came out and I really liked Gen 1 of EN skate at the time because the inside had so much drama i thought they i thought the jp gen 5 had a lot of drama with Allo. business there's always drama man it's booming it still is japan america indonesia vtubers have triumphed over what's considered normal to cement themselves as a very real and lucrative industry september 24th 2020. Like yeah. Hato goes over her analytics with her audience to see. Oh which my! Countries I remember. Do you guys remember this? This was like insane. When like like Hato and Coco got like suspended. I remember this drama. Did you catch that? That's okay. Neither did she. Kiryu Coco, who's one of the biggest VTubers in the world, does the same thing the next day, and thus the two slept as some rich ass bitches. Someone was at the door. Who is it? She replies. The Chinese. Bruh. Oh. 
both Hato and Coco made the mistake of mentioning Taiwan in their analytics, which China does not officially recognize as an independent country. Chinese viewers were not happy. In fact, can you imagine? And if you don't, saying a country's name causes this much backlash. That's oh no, insane. Asian countries go hard as fuck with their trolling. Coco and Hato were suspended for three weeks for saying the word Taiwan. But the viewers were not satisfied. Well, they believed that Akai Hato had made an honest mistake that harlot Kiryu Coco had to pay. Raids, smear videos. Yeah, no, Coco had it dogs, really bad. I felt so bad for her. They even go so far as to continuously buy YouTube accounts to keep it going. One guy even allegedly dropped his social credit score to zero and ruined his life because he used a VPN. This new faction is called the Antis. Because Hololive has yet to ban anti, Coco, they've anti. developed a vendetta against the company. To this day, they're kind of active. You can see them in chat or their Facebook propaganda, which is banned in China, so they gotta be using a VPN to spoof their location to a nearby country. Just saying. Hololive <laughs> then had two options. They can continue expanding in China and allow their new Chinese overlords to permanently ban VTubers on a whim, or leave, which they did. Yeah, I remember the when they got rid of the uh, the Chinese branch. The entire Chinese branch of Hololive didn't really do much, though. Yeah, it was on the news, and Hero Hey made like 600 videos about it. But VTubers just kind of moved on and are doing better than ever. Finally, the next generation. Remember how we found out VTubing is pretty big here? Well, a bunch of English-speaking boys and girls started paying hundreds, all the way up to thousands, for rigging commissions, avatars, etc. It it's me. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. It's yeah, who did that? Where anyone with a camera can go, hey, I can do that. <laughs> because they literally can. Hey, I can and do that. Hey, that's the app I'm using right now. Act three. We've learned they enjoy them. That's your business. And hopefully you can find can what I've been saying so Can you ask how much my so model cost? The art was... I'll give you a range instead of... um instead of uh, like the actual price, between 1200 and 1800 And the rigging was between 1800 and 3000 It's in there somewhere. Hey guys, you wanna subscribe to me, Mina Ayama, twitch.tv slash Mina Ayama? For a 42% increase in your luck. <laughs> but for my boys. I am the greatest treasure hunter the world has ever seen. Because I personally find it creepy, horrifying, disturbing, and to be honest with you, kind of fucked up in the head. The boys that understand. So yeah, you guys, uh, if you got a Twitch, if you got a Twitch Prime account, you can go ahead and hit uh, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button using your free Prime sub. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> My woman just sitting there doing screaming in Japanese and it's scary, all right? This is for you, bro. Not really the first guy, though. Nah, man, VTube is expensive. I honestly thought I was alone in despising these trollops. Online, I see overwhelming love for VTubers, and as much as I'm happy for those people, and especially the VTubers themselves, who've earned a spot atop the most well known streamers around, I still think it's super fun to make fun of them. And I haven't, so let me break it down. VTubing was cheaper I until it blew up, yeah. I do not understand them. People have often used the I think it's valid that he doesn't understand them. things to describe why they like certain shows. I'm, I'm not I've a fan of just like hating on someone because they have like a different opinion. You know what? I can admit it. Listen, you guys. I'm watching VTubers is fucking cringe. <laughs> like, I appreciate all of you guys. But like, like the VTuber culture, I understand why people like just wouldn't like it. Like it makes sense to me. Because like, I mean, I don't watch VTubers anymore. <laughs> I also don't watch streamers in general anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, it's not something you would bring up to people you don't know very well. Exactly. Because it's like, it's like a dirty little secret. Like, you're not going to tell someone like, oh, I watch this VTuber. Like, no, you, you say like, oh, I watch this streamer who happens to use a model rather than like the whole idol culture of it. Yeah, the West got rid of the idol culture, which I really do appreciate. Because, like, what I like about VTubing, it's not the playing a character part, but it's just, like, the anonymity of it where I can have, like, a full-time job and not be scared, like, by what I say. I could get fired if my boss finds it. I just say I watch a streamer. Fucking streamer that uses face tracking. Exactly. I'm fully aware that I'm a weirdo. I've asked the most manly dudes around to normal, casual friends if they hated this clip as much as me. Oh. Oh. 
and almost <laughs> all of them had no issue with it. Many even said it was cute. On the other hand, I look at that clip and cringe. It makes me uncomfortable and most of all annoyed. Because I feel entertainment is at its best when the line between realism and fiction is distorted. I enjoy media that provides He a just doesn't of like the cute genre and he's valid. He's wrong, but he's valid. Characters take and then flip it and do something crazy with the story. As I reflect on my favorite shows, almost all of them fit under that description. I thought of this in the shower while I was washing my balls and threw in the script, <laughs> so it might not be that airtight yet. But I've noticed that anime can frequently got the put incest up a barrier anime. between that realism and the characters they portray. There yeah, he needs to watch Bochy the Rock, exactly. feel they have to play into to appeal to certain audiences. In weaker shows, the main character will be some whiny bitch boy that is in love with justice, to which he's rewarded with a slew of girls that are attracted to his right. This show looks so he's familiar. There. Wait, what is this? I feel like I've watched this show. What is this show? Is this... Is this the Baka no test? Is this, is this Baka no test? To Lovaru, Rosario Vamp... To, you guys are giving me two different answers. Uh, Rosario? Okay, never mind then. I haven't seen this. But in real life? Not really. But I think as VTuber a kid, models I used to just naturally that's what would serve to me, as a sort of dividing really line between like the streamer and the viewer, that's which can be very helpful. Thing. Yeah, same. Exist. Same memorable. Female archetypes like tsundere's, yandere's, etc. that you would hate because author knows that works for whatever reason. Even in good anonymity, shows, you'll have characters have which are basic... Thousands of dollars on a new model? I want my model to look nice. <laughs> I, I want to look pretty. I wanted a pretty model. It's that simple. I just wanted a nice model. I love this model. <laughs> There's pride in looking. Like, you know how nice it feels when someone's like, oh my God, I love your model. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Also, I love uh, my teen romantic comedy snafu. We downloaded from a list of personalities. Yeah, yeah, when you yeah, you can buy nice clothes. Yeah, so exactly. Me, the less that characters act like anime characters, the better they are, with exceptions. Cute anime girls annoy the shit out of me because it's not genuine. I've spoken to at least a thousand women at this point and never met someone who genuinely speaks and acts like this. I don't know what you're talking about. I go Right? Right? I mean, uh, psh, I, I I totally... I, I, yeah. Not do it in front of others, I Maybe never. You have, but when I see it, I imagine some dude who's completely estranged from the youth writing his fifth knowing that's what's hot right now. Am I overthinking things? Yes, but I'm putting words into a feeling that's been sitting in my belly for years. So when you take um, this and make a real person kiss? act like they're that... It doubles the cringe factor. I don't want to see a person pretending to be a thing, pretending to be another thing that doesn't exist and never has. So that's why it irritates me so much when I see a VTuber going, It's uncanny, uncomfortable. To be fair, to me, I, though, feel, blah, blah, blah. I feel as though, to, like, to be fair, a lot of the VTubers that do that stuff, I think they naturally do that even off stream. Maybe not as high pitched, but I, I, I do feel like they'll... They'll still be like, oh, oh, wait, wait, shit, 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 shit. Like, it's the same concept. They're just doing it a little cuter. And especially, like, it's more on the Japanese side. And I feel like that's more, like, in their culture to act more cutesy versus, like, the Western culture. Well, that's not the point. They're supposed to adopt the persona. It's how I feel, dude. There ain't much I can do to change it. Let's examine the various types. Baby talk. <laughs> This is pretty much ubiquitous in the VTuber community and also the one that makes me the most mad. Japanese VTubers will talk like this. American VTubers will talk like this. Oh, here comes the airplane. Oh, no, I'm playing Stinky Winky. My type B. Okay, I don't mean to talk please. like that. I like to oh, imagine. Okay, a okay. Okay, well, okay, fuck you, man. Okay, I, I know VTubers that talk like that. I'm not one of them, but I know VTubers that talk like that. What, what the fuck did I just pause on? What, what, is, what is this? Do baby talk? That sounded like you bastard i sound exactly the same in real life um numi doesn't talk like that but numi sounds the exact same like in person that she does on stream that's why people always figure out who she is um um hey guys welcome to today's stream um we're watching the insane rise of youtubers and why i hate them 
Uh, as you can see right now, there's a big fucking baby on the screen and he's sucking his little thummy wummy. And right now, he's, his diaper is being changed. <laughs> I gotta go now. <laughs> Hey guys, this is the new VTuber persona that I'm going to be talking with every single time we start stream now. Um, hey guys, what did you guys want to talk about today? Uh, boobies. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't so bad. It's because it's more just high pitched rather than um like baby. You feel conflicted? Why do you feel conflicted? It's weird when then you hear my normal voice and suddenly my normal voice sounds deeper, right? Very pretty and old woman on the other end, don't get upset. Now, quick quiz. Are we watching the season finale of Teletubbies or Twitch? I get it. I get it. I do. I do. wait. You guys are. I don't sound like this. What? It, I think I sound like a normal person, for the most part. I just narrate a lot. Yeah, I think Iron Mouse's voice is naturally like that. I think he's just forgetting the fact that some people just naturally have high voices, and he's not used to hearing that because those people don't go outside. <laughs> I viscerally disliked that. That I didn't like that at all. <laughs> I need you to. You have a very neutral honestly, voice. Yeah, I think I do as well. I don't. I don't change watching. it for stream. I believe this comes directly from the cute anime girl phenomenon that I just got talking about. I know someone who so has super high pitched voice naturally. Yeah. English. Although I'm not gonna lie. A lot of fellows. You guys, I've met VTubers who I've heard them on stream, and they have a pretty high pitched voice, and then I talk to them one on one off stream, and I had to double take to make sure I was called. Like I called the right person. Because the voice that I was used to hearing on stream and the voice that I heard off stream, that was not the same person. That was literally not the same freaking person, you guys. I was shocked. The morning voice for, for VTubers. I don't think I have morning voice. Like, I've, I've done early morning streams before, but I think I sound the same. Like, I feel like my morning voice, it, it's like a little raspy for like a second. And then, it, like, once I, like, drink water, it goes away. I don't understand how people have morning voice for, like, an hour. It doesn't make sense to me, guys. It's because they're faking it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's the truth, though. Like, I'm sorry. I'm so I know I'm breaking you guys' reality right now. But, like, when you wake up in the morning, you just drink water, and you sound fine afterwards. Like, yeah, like, you might sound a little bit more slurry, maybe a little slower. But, like, I'm not a morning person. I just, I have to wake up for my job. But I'm not a morning person. Morning voice lasts, like, two minutes. Exactly. But I don't fake my morning voice. Do you drink water in the morning? Do you drink coffee in the morning? You hate the prevent. Yeah, like, when people are like, hey. <clears throat> hey, guys. I, I just woke up. How are you guys? How are you guys doing today? Oh, you like my morning voice? <laughs> yeah, I just woke up. Uh, what's up, baby girl? Like, bleh, bleh. <laughs> they want the ASMR morning. That's why I'm not good at ASMR. That's why I have never done ASMR either. I just, I don't think I could stay quiet long enough to do ASMR. Like, like, please don't ever talk like that. <laughs> when Mia's morning voice is when she says good. No, when I'm saying, no, no. Usually when I say good morning, I've already been awake for like an hour. And then I remembered to say good morning. Cause like my normal voice like mainly stops with like the uh, like um like hey like like a, like a <clears throat> like hey and then I go <clears throat> and I take a sip of water I go and I'm like okay I'm back to normal now. I think it's cute to see VTubers learn English. At times, all right, it is kind of cute. <laughs> Once they discovered a good amount of their audience was English speaking, VTubers began learning and communicating with a whole new side of their audience. Sometimes good. Never. Never. Oh my Sometimes god, that bad. clip went so and viral. Funny most of the time. Never. 
I think this is what hooked a lot of casual audience members. Of all the clips I've seen in research, a strong amount of them contained English, which is just English with a heavy Japanese accent. English. Weeaboos. Do you guys remember that? That went so viral. And Olivia's that have mastered the Japanese tongue. Body people as well. I don't think I know this what? VTuber. I feel like an old man. I know this type of thing is supposed to be cute, but I don't get why. You also get sporadic, random Japanese words to Lumi? really seal the deal. Like they make a mistake and go, Is she still active? mistake this. A favorite of mine is this Ara Ara shit. Are you sure this VOD's not gonna get nuked? I'm sure it'll what? be fine. Just... Oh my God. <laughs> this is why I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. No, I'm never doing it, you guys. Like, I, the, the, the culture surrounding the ARA, ARA, I can't handle it. I can't do it. Boys all flustered, so there's a song and dance of VTubers pretending like they don't want to do it, and then just going hard as- They're not pretending. They don't want to do it. Fuck as soon as they commit. Oh, oh, Manny, you guys want me to say it? Fine. Like, dude, you clearly wanted to do that. No. Now you've soured my mood, and frankly, I don't want to finish these nuggies. Normals. No, During the, the research, two I times I had to do it, it took me 30 minutes and I screamed. Okay? I screamed when I had to do it. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to regret this. One second. And you know what? It's always the, it's the most popular one because of fucking course it is. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you know, we don't need to hear it. It's fine. I, I, I don't want to hear it. You chicks talking in their normal voice, chilling with a VTuber avatar. I thought, uh... This is an actual person speaking to me right now, which threw me off after listening to high pitched squeals all day. Pretty chill. That's it's not my old show. model. Really that's blanket statement. On. That's the that's the Jenny model. My old model is uh this one. Scammed. What do you mean? No one paid one thousand five hundred dollars. This is my old model. Wow, the mouth opened so big in this model. This is my old model. Yeah, this is old Mina. You guys, you guys miss her? Did you guys, you guys, you guys miss my old model? It's been a, it's been a minute. I know. Who's this? This is my 1.0. Okay, we're going back to my, my, we're going back to, to this one. Uh, isn't it like? Isn't it like oh, working at a main cafe or retail in general? Tone, behavior, speech, and vocabulary all change depending on the audience. Yes. Family, friends, uh, yeah. boss, customers, act. I, I like to explain it as like working as uh like, yeah, like working as like a waitress, kind of like what, what streaming is like, where it's like, I don't think I'm putting on like a persona or anything or changing the way I talk or behave with you guys, but like... You guys probably see like 70% of me. And like the other 30%, like, I don't know. I think I'm a lot quieter off stream. So I'll thank you for the 200 biddies. Thank you guys. And thank you for the hype train. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm naturally a lot quieter off stream. Um, I don't know, but I, I feel like I don't like change that much on and off stream. Like for the most part, I'm just a little bit more hyper. It's like a uniform. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're just getting ready to work. It's like you're on like a sales call for however like many hours you're streaming. I'm all VTubers. All right, let's finish this video. Now let's go back to throwing blankets on VTubers. Mutes. Mutes, mutes, mutes. There are VTubers that stand. Oh there yeah, Zentreo. And stand there. And stand there. All right. Oh, they were now that's typing the whole time. Mm. This one uses text to speech or speech bubbles while others sit menacingly. While I know I personally <laughs> can't appreciate the other types of VTubers, and that's clearly on me. What is going on here? I genuinely want to know because I can't even generate a theory. Please um, don't. This channel is like a creepypasta. It's extremely uncanny to my gaijin eyes. What? What? 
What? I'm going to stand up. Zentreya is another insane case because she's actually humongous. Not just the tits, but she's raised $42,000 in five hours before. What was just that? Vibing, typing, taking hell along between responses. Well, These two have been able to achieve a high level of success that I think anyone would be envious of by I've never heard of the other the mold one, though. In an already outlandish market. That is commendable. Yet, behind our backs, who could have I've seen this the dark critique of the video before. Hey, yo. Oh, I remember this controversy. Everyone predicted that. This is Nora Cat. You might have seen this clip floating around. Their popularity plummeted after this incident, but like, what did you expect? A hot lady? You expected a hot lady with boobs to be using a fucking text-to-speech voice. The only people I know who do that is Reddit. It's pretty messed up that the dude isn't doing so great now. He seems like a chill guy, so if you're ever in the States, we can smoke or something Damn. and talk about the Damn. YouTuber industry. I think... That's not a conversation. If this happened today, he would be fine. But because it happened at the height of when VTubers were still considered idol culture, it was a huge controversy. And I want to have sober. So that's the mutes. Revolutionary in their own way, confusing in mind. Now, you can't have VTubers without an audience, right? Casuals. Normal people. There are tons of people hey, attracted to the hey, idea of cute girls saying- You guys, you guys can atone to this. Are you all normal people? One in chat if you are a normal person. Two in chat if you are not a normal person. I think it's that simple. I'm seeing a lot of ones. I'm seeing a few twos. Uh, you, 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 therapy exists for the twos. Okay, okay. I don't know what three is. Is three just means you're devoted to me exclusively? I mean, I'll take it. ...and doing ridiculous shit. Some clips even had me thinking, okay, that was kind of cute. Yuppie, yuppie! I assume these are one of the most popular viewers on YouTube, but I have no idea. Simps. Simps. I, I don't think normal people watch really YouTubers. I would argue that with the way that VTubers have evolved... It's more normal to watch VTubers than to not. Where it's like it, streamer or VTubers are less VTuber now and they're more just streamer with a model. Cause there's less VTuber, like I don't know, like less VTuber culture as a whole, like the cringe culture, and more just like, oh, these are just a lot of people who are streaming with like a model as their content. That's what are you guys horny boys? One in chat? You know what I dislike the most about um you know what you know what I hate the most about this clip? I've watched this. I've seen this clip on YouTube before, like years ago. I've watched this. If you watch a lot of Twitch, you're gonna end up with some on some VTubers at some point. Yeah, exactly. It's like there's so many VTubers out. So listen, listen, when I was first getting into VTubers, I was watching a lot of different clips. This was one of the clips because I liked Coco Sensei. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, some people who don't even watch anime have anime models. Like me. I don't watch anime and I have an anime model. You know, sometimes you don't need to watch anime to be anime. <laughs> God, what is this? What is this? What am I watching? You guys, how did I used to watch this and not cringe? <laughs> Obviously, there's a good amount of people that want to bang these things, which brings in a fair amount of viewers. Actually, remember when Project Melody came out on Chatterbait and broke all sorts of records and everyone was salty? Yeah, there's a market Wait, for this. Wait, she went on of Chatterbait? the girls are aware, so they'll make allusions to sexual acts as the chat pogs incessantly. Tight. Like a free old mouse. <laughs> which is also like half the VTuber recommendation I get. For the record, I would Dude, do the sus VTubers if I were female, pop the freak off because of like clips. Inside of a box of Ponky, which is far worse than moaning into the mic. Um, is this why people watch Ring Fit? I just think it's funny. Streams? When you work out, what noise do you make? Usually like, or what? You don't go. There's people that come for that much like any other industry. But I think horny boys make up a pretty good chunk of the fan base. We Understandable. Booze. Have a nice, have if a nice I day. If I enjoyed pure, innocent, fake women, 
VTubers would be awesome. Let's say I like a slice of life show. I'm, I'm one of the people who go, shh, Why would I when not working out. I go, shh. person in real life who embodies a ton of these characteristics. Because that's just how you learn how to breathe and like kickboxing. Because I did Muay Thai and they taught me how to breathe. They're like, shh, 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 shh. So like when you're doing stuff, you go, shh, 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 shh. And that's how you breathe. I don't know. <laughs> Fictional characters that are so out of reach for us are suddenly something I guess average people go, ah, yeah, Mate. I think this is a very unique relationship and can see why people graduate fuck gravitate towards vtubers there's also slice of life that waifu that out of, out of, out of, out of shit. the last 72 hours of my life has been dedicated to yeah. uh, researching these guys so i've honestly been on a roller coaster of emotion god vtubers Initially, are so cringe i understand I why he hates them. them in the middle i despise them and in the end i despise them but during all that i never stopped thinking yeah that's on me i'm never going to be in the loop and i'm cool with that VTubers are going to be here for a long time, whether we like it or not, and they have a brilliant future full of boundless possibilities. Yeah, the rabbit hole is insane. Still going to make fun of my friends for watching that baby shit. But most importantly, I've learned that if you can't beat them, you got to get better than them. It's Wanko time, fuckers. <laughs> Catch me streaming with my new avatar, Wanko. I know it's very disrespectful for big YouTubers to hop on the VTuber trend because it's a very niche and not well known. Oh my god, when everyone I went on you guys can forgive Dude. me. Subscribe. Do you guys remember when like the internet hated Pokemon for like being having a VTuber model? I, I talk about anime. That was so funny. I reply to those. I'm sure this comment section is gonna be real fun. But did I mention? God, people just hate Pokemon for anything. The arrival of our newest sponsor, NordPass. There's a free version. So listen, you guys. Listen, this might be controversial. I like Pokemon. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. I like Pokemon. I, she's Moroccan. I appreciate that. I'm Middle Eastern. Habibi? <laughs> Question mark. 